Well, for today's activity, we're going to go on a bit of a walk around the villages. So we're going to start off at the village hall, go a circular walk up to our, up through the village, up the main road to Simmonston, cross over, go down Simmonston Lane to where the old railway station and railway line used to be, walk up the old railway line to as far as you can go, go underneath it, cut across the fields to where the old pit used to be, then walk up through the caravan site, up onto the main road again, up to St John's Church and then finish back at the Scout Hut. So, hope you enjoy it. Before we set off on our walk, we'll go back inside and I'll show you what you need to pack. Okay, so it's time to get ready for our walk and we need to start thinking about what equipment we need to take with us. It's been snowing today, generally it's normally raining or a bit wet, and this walk is going to take you across some fields, so it might get a little bit muddy. It's also going to go up the old railway line, so it's ideal if you can wear something like walking boots. I'm going to be wearing my walking boots, they're waterproof, they've got a lot of grip on them, so especially when it is slippy outside, you're not really going to slip. It doesn't matter if you don't have walking boots, wear something like wellies, the walk's going to take you about an hour, uh, so it's not too long, but make sure you've got some sturdy footwear, okay, don't go out in your trainers, because you're going to get wet feet. And the next thing you need to think about taking is a nice warm coat, okay, of course you want a warm coat that you can wear, you don't want it to be too heavy so you can take it off and put it in your bag if you need to which leads me on to the next thing and the next thing is a bag you need to take a bag to carry your things in what i suggest you take in your bag is a hat if you're like me and you were involved you'll probably be wearing, to, wearing your hat anyway you need to take some gloves and also what i tend to take is a waterproof a thin waterproof coat so that's my thin waterproof coat, it can roll up, go in the bag, and when I need it, I can just take it out of the bag. You, of course, need to take the essential snacks. Uh, if you're running low in energy or you get a little bit peckish, have a chocolatey snack that you can just have a bit of. Snickers is my favourite. If anybody ever wants to get me one, that's fine. If we're on camp and there's only in a tuck shop, feel free to get Skipper a uh, Snickers. Oh, that's a bit of a tongue twister. Anyway, final thing I put in my bag is of course water. I like to take a drink of water. You can, people do take other types of drinks. Water's a great thing. Just take a drink of water. If you get thirsty, you can take a swig. Okay, remember as well, use your refillable merch. Refillable first read in Simmonston drinking container, which we gave to you at Christmas. And the final thing, which I'm gonna take because if you're going on a walk on your own, you need to be able to communicate with people. As I said, it's very slippy at the moment, and although I'm only walking around the village, I'm not going very far, if I do slip and I sprain my ankle, I've got my mobile phone so I can just ring somebody up, probably somebody like Gunner or Chill, uh, to come and get me and pick me up, hopefully, if they can find me. <laughs> uh, take a phone if you're on your own, or take a bit of change so you can get to a local pay phone. I know there's not many of them left around, but there are a few in the village. But make sure you can communicate with people. Also, before you go on any any walk anywhere, tell people where you're going. Tell your parents if you're going as a scout and you're going on your own. Uh, if you're going as a family, tell somebody else that you're going for a walk and let them know roughly where you're going and what time you're due back. That way, if you're a few hours overdue because you have had an incident, they know to raise the alarm and we know where to look. Or well, not we, but the relevant authorities know where to look for you. So that's more for big walks, but do it for your little ones as well, get in the habit, let people know where you're going, tell them what time you should be back, and then if, then if you're not back, and it's a few hours later, they can raise the alarm for you. Anyway, it's time to go, so let's go. Well, we're just about to start our walk and the starting point is behind us and it was the Reed and Simpson Village Hall, aka the Scout Hut. So if you walk down towards the main road from the Village Hall, turn left 
towards Simmonston. I'm going to walk up the main road of Simmonston, cross over and go down Simmonston Lane. Remember to be very careful on the main road, it's extremely busy and some people do speed up it. But while we're doing a little walk, I'll show you some scenes and also show you some old pictures of the village hall. Did you know that before it was a village hall, some of you all know it was a church, it was a United Reformed Church. And before it was the United Reformed Church, it was actually a school. So let's show you some of those old photos. So we've just crossed over the main road and we're walking down Simmonston Lane now towards the old railway station. So I'll see you when we get there. Now I don't know if you know but there used to be an old railway line in Simmonston and the station was just behind me now and we have a little walk down the main road we're walking towards Oldham now down Simmonston Lane uh, the railway station was to the left of this road there's some um, it's a bank terrace to the right which are the terraced houses and what we're gonna do we're gonna walk down this road to where the old bridge used to be that used to go into the station go up the stairs to the right hand of the road and join the greenway there that's how we're going to get around and eventually get back into the village and also we're going to show you something that not many people know exists and it's in Reed but we'll get to that a little bit later on so as I said we're walking down Simonson Lane at the moment now it's a really busy road and the crossing part for this road is actually in a dip where the bridge used to be so you need to be really careful when you're crossing this road make sure you listen out look both ways and it, it is a 30 but people go a lot faster than a 30 down here so just be careful when you're crossing and my shoelaces come undone so do that cross the road and then we'll be up on the greenway and i'll show you the notice board up there which has a lot of information on about uh, the old railway line just do my shoelace okay shoelace done ready to cross the road now try not to get squished so we're looking both ways listen now doesn't seem to be anything coming made it right so we need to go up the stairs at the side of the railway and at the top of these stairs is a notice board i want you to have a little read of the notice board and tell me where the train used to go from and to so there's a little bit of information about the station as well so it's just at the top of the stairs i'm not going to zoom in on it because that's part of the uh, local knowledge you need to find out for yourself but it's over there and we're now going to go that way Okay, it's time for us to come off the old railway line now we're going to go, go underneath the bridge and go through Goose Leach Woods and we're going to go towards the place that not many people know about and it's in Reed and it's called Dunkirk Pit now the pit's quite special because there's actually the remains of what used to be a water wheel there and I'll tell you a little bit more about that one oh, I don't know if you can see me I'm going through a tunnel I'll tell you a little bit more about that water wheel when we get there but it is quite spectacular and quite hidden so 
you come off the railway line underneath the bridge over the stile and you're going through the woods now it's really muddy okay so this is why you need to wear wellies or boots and we're walking straight ahead towards the river and once we get over the next stile we're going to take a right So we just walked over from the woods. And you're not walking down to the river. If you notice, the, if you go over the boardwalk, which is over there, you've gone too far. You need to follow this fence if you get to the fence and you come to a stile. So if you were stood at the uh, stile coming out of the forest, you need to walk, if you, if you were 12 o'clock on a clock, you need to walk towards seven o'clock. Okay, so you're not, not walking right across the field. You're walking about seven o'clock and you'll end up, you'll see this old tree that's fallen down and there's a stile just behind it. Well, we made it. We made it to Dunkirk Pit. And basically, the something that not many people know is here. Now, it was what was called a Constant Mary. Down here, we used to have a water wheel, and you can see where it used to be attached. The water wheel connected to a very, very large wheel, which had a steel rope around it. And the steel rope, you would connect a little trolleys too that used to go down the mine the trolleys were on tracks so they weren't massive nothing like um, a carriage that you would find on a railway a bit smaller and they used to put the coal in it but because they were attached to this steel uh, line which was constantly moving because of the water they would be pulled up the old tracks which you can probably just see behind me there and if I turn around maybe you can see up near the telegraph pole there's some uh, concrete slabs on the floor. That was actually the entrance to the old coal mine. So, Reed used to have a coal mine. They weren't all down in Oldham. Uh, and this was Dunkirk Pit. So come up, there's an information board here. Have a little read of that. It tells you some fantastic information. It's got some old pictures as well. So have a look at that and uh, see what you can tell me, either in the comments or when we meet again, to prove that you've been down here. Anyway. Once you've had a look around the, uh, the old pit and the old water wheel, you want to follow the dry stone wall that will be on your right hand side towards Dunkirk Farm. It's just a bit north of Dunkirk Farm. Uh, you're going to walk up through the caravan site up to the main road. So uh, obviously when you're walking up, to the caravan, up through the caravan site, it's very important that you stay on the footpath. So it's clearly marked. Keep the fence to your right hand side. The farm's over there, so you don't need to go near the farm. Just follow the fence over the stile, and then you get onto a lovely tarmac road, and you can just walk straight up that tarmac road, and you'll get to the main road on the reed side. And I'll see you there. <laughs> Well, 
Well, we've walked through the campsite now and we're going to walk up to the main road. Uh, turn right at the main road. Be very, very careful when you're crossing it. Uh, you might want to even walk into the village. And uh, I know it's a bit out of the way, but cross at the traffic lights. We're going to go up the side of Pendle, Hill's pro Pendle, Pendle Hill properties towards St. John's Church. Where I'm going to tell you something about the church and show you some old photos. So, see you there. We made it up to St. John's Church and can you believe it? When it was first built, it didn't used to have that. I'll show you some old pictures now. Well, we're coming to the end of the walk now. We're going back down towards the village hall, the scout hut. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed the walk we've done around Reed and Simonston. There's some of the interesting places where we've taken you. If you have enjoyed it, why don't you put a comment in the comments below.